everybody, we're playing Warframe and we're back doing the final episode of Patient Zero which is the uh, attack on Mutalist Allied V himself. Please return covered in blood. So I'm using the Gara here, still rank 25, but I'm using the Physique mod which gives me extra capacity points and also 90% health. And I'm using the Vitality which gives me 400% health, redirection, 400% shield and Steel Fiber which is 90% armor, so they're kind of like fundamental mods I guess. And uh, also threw in the Continuity which gives me 12% ability duration. So uh, let's talk about strategy with uh, Mutalist Allied V because he's quite a tough enemy and he's hard to beat. So the strategy I used here was uh, have a look at his stats on the wiki page and you can see where his weaknesses are. So you can see he's uh, a bit vulnerable to slash damage. And he's also a bit vulnerable to heat as well. Um, he's very vulnerable to gas damage, which is heat plus toxin. That gives you 75% uh, extra damage against him. He's resistant to radiation. And he's resistant to viral, which is cold and toxin. So I think gas damage is really where it's at uh, for this boss. Um, an extra 75% damage. Um, now with his proto shield, um, it's a bit vulnerable to impact, a bit vulnerable to toxin. It's very vulnerable to magnetic damage, which is cold and electricity. 75% uh, extra damage. And then uh, he's resistant to puncture, heat and corrosion. So I think for the shield, um, the magnetic is where it's at. An extra 75% damage on the, on the shield. So I'm going to go with those two. Uh, Elementals. So on the primary weapon, I'm using the com. You can see here I've got gas damage. So the gas damage is basically a 90% uh, toxin mod and a 90% heat mod. So you can boost those as high as you can. And I've got the uh, ammo mutation mod on there as well to help me restock my ammo. So I know that ammo is a problem with this mission. Um, I'm running with the shotgun savvy, which gives me extra status chance. Slash damage. Um, I've got shotgun damage, 90%. And I've got 90% critical chance on the shotgun as well. So let's take a look at my secondary. The secondary is where I've gone with the magnetic. So you can see here I've put some magnetic damage on here. So this is comprised of the uh, cold and the electric together. So you can see I've got a cold mod on there. It's only 30% at the moment, but it's enough to give me magnetic. And 45% electricity. So it gives me 54 on the magnetic damage. I've also got critical damage and pistol damage at 180%. So with that, let's uh, go and have a try and see how we go with it. So we go to Eris, and we've got our Assassinate token already crafted, so in we go. So the Mutalist Allied V fight is quite long, so um, yeah, you'll need to have uh, the right strategy in place. Assassination contracts are not to be taken lightly. Eliminating this target will have a significant impact on enemy forces. Search the area. Leave no survivors. Alad V is sick. The infestation has infiltrated his mind. It has been doing its bidding. You're here to stop him. So you will also be showing him mercy. The mercy of freeing him from the infestation. So I'm going to use my melee on the way up there so I don't waste any ammo. Here I go again. Giving you too much credit. Must I always show you the way forward? So I'll conserve all my primary weapon ammo for the for the main fight. Just use the melee. Because I know it's a long fight so I don't want to run out of ammo. You have one 
I will show you the magic of this gift. Okay, show me the magic. Gonna slice and dice our way through. Why must you always work against the progress? I tried to bring us all together. Things could have been different if you tried to work with, with me. Do you see this car? This car will let you see like I see. It will let you want what I. So he has a collar that helps him with his uh, protection. There it is. And that gives him some invulnerability when he's wearing his collar. He's also using the primary weapon which is a uh, Mutilus Quanta. Now you'll see while he's wearing his collar, he's basically totally invulnerable. I can't do any damage to him. So I've got to wait for him to lift his collar off like that. There we go. But it's only for a short, short time. There we go. He's, uh, he's vulnerable just for a short time. Wait again, there we go. Can you see he had a shield around him. That's one of his uh, abilities. Is to place a shield around his body that protects his lower body, but you can still shoot him in the head, which is good. I did a bit of damage to him then. Wasn't a lot. So he does that zap attack with his um, collar. He spins it around and he can zap you with it. That's his second attack. And his third attack is um, throwing the collar at you, which will cause you some damage. If you're in a group and playing uh, against him in a group, um, the collar can actually attach to one of the other players and control them for a short time. And then the other player will attack you, so there's his shield again. But yeah, solo you don't have that problem. It's just a slow grind to bring his health down, I guess. Let's wait for him to lift his collar, there we go. Doing his shielding again. And uh, sometimes he'll say something too when he lifts his collar, which is a bit of an indication. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of distance between him because he uh, can do a lot of damage when he's up close to you. that collar. There we go. I probably should use my um, secondary to um, bring his shield down. His shield's still quite high. Lift it. There we go. Yeah, I think you're better off just waiting until he actually lifts his collar and then have an attack. Otherwise you're just wasting ammo. Yep, there we go. Get rid of some of these ads on the in the process. The 
think he was shielding there for a second. Okay, let's go secondary. Wait for him to lift his collar again. Oh yeah, you see how the secondary with the magnetic damage just strips away his shield. So I'll uh, strip away his shield and then I'll swap to the primary. And then take him down with the, uh, the gas damage. Seems to be working. Lift it. Oh. Oops. So he's shielding again. So he's down to two thirds. My ammo is probably at the halfway point. No, too slow. Here we go. Yep, see the for the short time it was uh, vulnerable. Yeah, it just strips away your shield. Like nothing else. It's good. So confirmed that the magnetic damage definitely uh, definitely does strip that shield. some of these ads. Where is he? Just gonna keep away from him a little bit. Oh, you see how he threw his um, collar at me. Just did some shield damage. go. He's shielding again so we can shoot him in the head. So he doesn't have much shield left. It's uh, mostly uh, physical damage now. I'm just trying to conserve ammo a little bit now because I'm down to probably a third of what I need. Oh, that was good. Took him down to maybe one third health now. That was a good run. So yeah, the gas uh, gas damage is definitely having an effect. Nope, we got blocked. Yep, just wasting ammo now. few more good hits in. It's probably only got 20% left. Lift it. Ah, blocked again. Lift it, lift it. Here we go. Now you can see his uh, Radio shields coming back. And the ads have been quite annoying. Let's get his shield down again. Totally stripped his shield away. Ah. 
minus it back. Okay. Going down, he's done ten percent, I reckon. Come on, lift it. He's zapping me. Okay, I reckon he's on about five percent now. It's pretty close. Shield come back a bit. Deal with some of these ads. Of course, I've just about run out of primary ammo, so that's a problem. But the secondary might be able to do it. right up so I'll go back to the secondary. Might be able to finish him off with the secondary. Come on. Oh he's so close. Building again. There we go. Com for the win. Okay, cool. We are done. Target down. Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. And you can see there he's dropped a Mesa Neuroptics blueprint. So you can actually farm this boss to get the uh, Mesa Warframe pieces. And then you just buy the main blueprint from the uh, marketplace in your ship. And that's it. That's the end of Mutalist Allied V. So I hope you like this episode guys and we'll see you next time. The inbox has messages for the operator. Anything about orders in there? Order.